course of a summer, I spray about over 1,500 backpack loads full of products in different areas I work at. Noxious weeds, invasive weeds are just a part of Illinois landscape anymore. They're more common than even our native plants, unfortunately, in some areas. This is a pretty well degraded area right here. And this is as they built the highway up and built this entrance road, they had to dig out and borrow soil. So that way, that's why we have this high ridge up here. And there are vir virtually no good plants out here at all. It's all black locust, European buckthorn, and Asiatic honeysuckle. Very, very few native shrubs out there. Until you get right to the where the park starts here in the bluff, now we go into a native eco zone where we have our northern white pine, our cliff dwelling red cedar, and the northern white cedar, which is an endangered species. Also, there's a nice variety of native shrubs down in this area witch hazel, red berried elderberry, um, some viburnums, and a pagoda dogwood, which is another characteristically conservative species that we like to have and like to have more of. So as you can see, this whole hillside here is 99.9% .9 all invasive weed structure. So I'm spraying them with the broadleaf weed killer. I'm not going to hurt the grasses. We want to keep the grasses here to help erosion control, even though many of the grasses are of European origin. We just take these things one step at a time. We take the trees out, and then the noxious weeds we have to spray out. And then we'll come in in the fall and do a prescribed burn and try to burn a lot of this material up and then some native stuff and we'll have a chance to start uh, sprouting and flourishing in this area. The point is we need to get rid of these invasive plants because a lot of them are under the Illinois noxious weed law and are prohibited from growing anywhere.